back in the holding room, everyone is desperate to join them. Including our next act, 50-year-old Alabama native Dan Meyer, who hopes he too can make the cut. Hi, I'm Dan Meyer. I'm from Hartsell, Alabama. And I'm going to attempt to do something today that most people have never seen and that's rarely done and extremely dangerous. What I do requires uh, a lot of mind over matter, a lot of knowledge of physiology of the human body. As a matter of fact, part of what I do is I'm going to actually nudge my heart aside. What's your name, sir? My name is Dan Meyer. I'm from Hartsell, Alabama. Okay, and what's your act? I am uh, one of the last of the few sword swallowers left in the world today. Has anyone ever died swallowing a sword? Oh, yes. I'm going to be risking my life up here for your entertainment pleasure today and hoping I don't kill myself. Don't try this at home. Well, Dan, go and risk your life. Good luck to you. Thank you. I can't even watch this. I can't even watch this. What do you think? I think that it was incredibly uh, scary. Good. And, and no, it's very hard to watch. I don't know. I think the audience would kind of like run away. I didn't dislike it. I just don't know how it would sustain in a show if we're going to, you know, vote a million dollars. How you're going to actually get to the finals and, and do an hour of this. All right, Sharon. Well, I think it is right for this show because this show is about variety. And I think that... Thank you, thank you. You've obviously spent years mastering this sword right. swallowing. And I, it just amazes me. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, this show is about the unusual. I've never seen that in my life, and I bet most of the audience haven't either. Having said that, I mean, it's a very, very uncomfortable thing to watch. It is. OK, now the important moment for you, which is the vote. Sharon, yes or no? Oh, it's an absolute yes from me! Yeah! Yes. Thank you. David, yes or no? My vote is no. You're going to Vegas. Yeah. I forgot my sword. Congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah, he buzzed the buzzer right in the middle of it and almost punctured my stomach when he did that. It kind of surprised me there. I was not expecting that. So Dan lives to see another.